What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot minute, but we are back with the Camaro SS1 LE. And today we're gonna go over how to install a Z01 1 LE bumper or front fascia that I got from Extreme Online Store. As you can see, this is a stock one and uh, we had to replace it because, uh, yeah, a little mishap. If you wanna check out the bumper in their page, just go to extremeonlinestore.com, look up Camaro, sixth generation and then you can select 16 to 18 or 19 and up the process took less than a week to get here it came in a big box very well packaged uh, i opened it up and uh everything looked pretty good all the pieces and the bumper finish was actually pretty good uh got it sent to paint received it back already painted and everything so now let's go into taking the stock bumper off and put all the pieces together so in order to take the bumper off, there's these screws in here on the wheel well. You take them out with a T15. The T15, and I'll show you some video from when I did it. If I don't have it, then we'll go here. But you have T15 and you have one here, here, and then the wheel well, there's like one or two more. And then behind the wheel, there's two more that you can take so you can remove you can remove that and then you can have access into this. Once you get access into this side of the bumper or both sides, doesn't really matter. There's a, a bracket behind the panel. You push back and you got three right there. One, two, and three. Black bracket that goes here and it's gonna have three seven millimeter uh, screws. You go with the seven millimeter, I use the I use, a, I use an electric ratchet with an extension of seven millimeter. You was able to take, get all three of them out. That's pretty simple. Once you get those three, you gotta look further up and then you have one, two, three, and four. We can see this is the top of the bumper. So you can go from under. This, you take the three that were there, this bracket comes down and you pull the liner up and you got all these back here. One, two, three, and four up there and just with something like this it's pretty simple under this top one you can get from top if you want but since you're already sitting down on the floor to do all this you can easily get to these if you have a little swivel and an electric ratchet it was pretty simple for me because it's only you know these three and then these four once these four come out uh, this just pops out if you want to, but I wouldn't. I would just let it be because you still got to do it the other side. And also you have to unplug the light. And it's as simple as just pushing down on these and pulling it out. You unplug it, simple push that went out to get it out of the way. Before I pull the bumper, uh, I got to make sure that nothing else is attached. Like I think. If I look around here, yeah, if I follow the harness, the harness, the harness right here, it's attached for the um, fog light, I guess it is, whatever that light is. So right here. I swapped them. These uh, running lights, they come yellow and red. If you look here, I switched them to LEDs, so it's black and black. But uh, yeah, you want to unplug it here. And also you want to unplug the, uh, I don't know if it's a fog light or running light, but whatever it is, this bottom light, you want to unplug it because further down, you're going to have to go on that side and unplug the main harness that runs all through the bottom. You have to take the harness out and transfer it onto that bumper. After that, we took the wheel one's off, we took these three off, we took these four off, and then we can go to the top. And if you see this ledge right here, this ledge, the liner gets removed after you take the screws. These are all, there's a, a pin here and a pin over there that you just pull up. But then all over the edge here, these are all uh, T15s. And then once you do that, you go under. Now if we're down here, there's a bunch. And these back here yeah these are all tens these are all tens then we need these to remove these clips or two flatheads 
just gotta go through here, here, and pull it out. And uh, a bunch of seven millimeters, just a bunch all over the place. So that takes the bumper off. Once you got all that unclipped, all you gotta do is pull here off the side, pull here, this clips out, the other side clips out, and then you kinda, you see these tabs, you have to, once you pull here, push the bumper forward and up and out. All right, so the Zio 11 Elite has all the tabs, so you don't have to transfer that, but you do have the chance for a little clips to screw in, like all these little clips. This guy right here, and this guy, and then all these up here. Now this one right here, and this one, it's hard to get out. So, Extreme Online Store provides you with extra of these to transfer onto this bumper to make it easier. Also this top part right here, this little liner comes out. It's just in these ledges like this. Just gotta clip it out and then transfer onto this one. And as you can see, there's two pieces, not one. So make sure you put the one with the ledge first. And uh, be careful, these are pretty fragile. Yeah. All right, so this bumper foam piece that was extra, figured it out. The grill has two clips, one here, one over there. You just kind of push it in and it clips. You'll hear a clip. That's pretty much it. I guess this is not supposed to like go in like all the way up in here like I was looking at it. It's just supposed to like sit here. So we're about to put it on and see if it works out. all the bumper and you start putting it all together it's fairly simple like like every other grill you have to get the grills and i would say i would recommend starting with the lip we put the grill first and then we have to take it off because the lip has these little tabs they go in between the grill and the actual bumper so we had to redo that but when we put the lip or the front spoiler on uh there was also here the, you know, it has the clips that go in, but they had these two little ledges that had to go over and those were a little hard. So we had to put some 3M tape to kind of raise it and then get it into the clip. The 3M tape is stuck to the bumper, but on the other side it's not peeled. So it's not really sticking there, but it's helping it get it up there. So once you get the front spoiler lip in, then you can put on the grills and the grill, the bottom grill, the top grill, these little pieces right here they're fairly simple they just go around and they haul the push clips that you go in if you've done a bumper before just know that you do like one piece at a time you can't do the whole thing you put everything you kind of place it nicely and you start pushing slowly on one side get it in make sure all the clips are on you're not breaking anything the canards are easy too it has two clips that go down here two clips that go in here so you kind of put it here and then flex it put this down and it had two screws to put in the back here, but we actually did uh, with Omar, we did uh, ribbon nuts. So we put ribbon nuts and we put it in there, that way it's pretty strong. On the side, I was gonna do ribbon nuts for the side here, but I just did the self tappers. I wanted them black. So for now I'll do that, but I'll have to order some stainless steels and then do the ribbon nut and put them on there. So it kind of holds really tight. I think the other difference for this bumper is also, it brings this piece. And I'm thinking this is for this type of year, for 19 and up for the light. Cause I think in the other year, the the light's more squared or kind of, it doesn't have this whole follow through. So that's why this extra piece is for this year car. And what we did is I think we put a little bit of double side tape on over here, but then behind here has a screw that holds on to this. So once you screw it on, it holds on pretty good. This one clipped good. And then this one was a little loose, but I, we, we moved it around and tried to figure it out. And uh, it's just, we ended up putting a little tape to hold it just in case until, you know, the car gets driven and moves around and hopefully some stuff settles and then we have to retighten or refix. And of course I moved the SS emblem from the other car to have it all black. It looks amazing. And uh, to put the bumper on, everything that was stuck on it worked. Like 
the four screws that go here, like the one, two, three, four, the three, they go here. The T15s, they go off the side, worked. The bottom panel, like all of the seven millimeters and then the bottom panel with the 10 and the seven millimeters worked too. Uh, we had pushed the bumper up and tightened tighten all these to make sure uh, it fits how it was stuck. But once I closed the hood, the hood was touching the bumper. So what I ended up doing is a neighbor in his TRX. What I ended up doing after the hood touch is I actually just loosened up, loosened up all these and let it loose, let it move a little bit and then I retighten everything. So after I did that and I closed the hood, it fit perfect. Yeah, so got the CA Manifold JLT, the Zero One throttle body, some flex fuel and some fun, but yeah. So that's pretty much it, not bad at all. Car looks amazing. Thank you Extreme Online Store for the hookup and thanks Omar, Marty, Pat, everybody for the help. Car looks badass. No, I just need the power to match how it looks. That's what Marty says. So we've been busy, we've been doing stuff. We haven't been recording, but we'll see. We'll record some more, give you an update on Marty's car and some of the other cars. But that's all I got right now. So you know what to do. Thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what you think. And I'll see you next time. I guess I found my uh, other clip remover that I've been looking for. It's been here for a while. So I'm over here looking at the stock bumper to make sure, I mean, it is all said and done. I just need to do the, the little corners for the lip and then attach these two. But I'm looking at this bumper and I come all the way down here. And uh, yeah, how did I get there? Broken dollar. So aside from my clip removal tool, I found a broken dollar.